Ah, how do you do, fellow kids? It's your buddy Bangle, back with another Desperados franchise video. Everyone's been asking for it, and yeah, I'm focused on the draft. In my opinion, and I know this is going to defer to a lot of guys in the comments section, you guys see me as a Madden first guy. Completely understandable. I get you subscribing for the Madden content, but for me... I have more fun creating the in real life football stuff, talking about the draft and scouting and real life NFL scenarios. So I'm happy to do the Madden stuff, as I noticed for the first time that Inslee and Schmidt have the exact same face, but I'm happy to do the Madden stuff. I am. It, it certainly can be fun to play pretend GM, but I do really, really like the in real life football content and the draft only comes by once a year. It's a big focus on the channel. So I really like to make a lot of videos and they're not going to be done. but. I would figure we'd take a little bit of a pit stop and do some Desperados franchise. I know you fiends are scratching your skin off waiting for the next dose of Desperados franchise so you can try and reach that first time high. But we'll see if we can recreate it today doing some scouting here. And these corners are bad. I want, for Madden 22, I want more steals in the draft just to get a little bit of variation about how guys can develop. That's my biggest want because, in my opinion, draft season and the NFL draft is more exciting than the Super Bowl. I understand if your team's in the Super Bowl, right? But I I like the draft and draft season more. We'll check out some of these guys. Terrell Gray. This week, Byrne might not just be the top O-lineman in the nation. He may be the top player, period. So Byrne might be a player to look out for. And Dakota Little has been terrorizing opposing offenses this season until he ran up against Greg Byrne. Byrne was the key to Texas's win. So we might have a monster offensive lineman out of Texas, Greg Byrne. And also with the draft stories, I want them to tell me what position these guys play and where they're from so they're actually easier to find. It's so annoying when you can't find these guys, but we do have some skill point upgrades. We have the rookie Orlando Holiday. I want his own coverage. As nice as 69 is. I want his own coverage into the 70s. So we'll boost that up. Plus three big time moves. Still about halfway to finding his development trait. And then Devin Duvernay is about to get into the 85s. And he has superstar development. As I say that very oddly. Which gives him another ability slot. So very happy about that. I'd love for his route running to get a little bit better. I think I'm just going to do slot, though, because that's his lead archetype. Guarantee him getting the 85 upgrade. Plus one speed! Oh, big time moves for Devin Duvernay. slot -o -matic. He honestly doesn't really play in the slot all that often, but... We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Should we move him into the slot for that? Also, I have a friend joining me. She's back here. I know a lot of guys like the cat, wondering where the cat's been. Listen, you're going to wish you hadn't been asking for the cat because she's going to make it very known that she's here. She's going to cry. She just wants attention. That's her deal. We're going to have to live with it. Anyway, long intro. Desperados franchise. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Helps me out a ton. Completely free to scroll down and do that. And let's go to Mile High Field. Well, I guess it's not called that. It's called Empower Field at Mile High Stadium or something like that. I don't know. Adam Gase is now the head coach of the Broncos. No more Vic Fangio. But this is always a really fun stadium to play in, especially at night in the playoff time. I remember like the camera flashing and the atmosphere and everything was pretty cool. One of the few stadiums where you kind of feel that, in my opinion, in the game. So it's fun to play here, even though it's during the day. See what we can do on offense. Matt Schmidt, I haven't played Madden in a minute. So, I really don't want interceptions to run wild today. Looks like I'm already starting crossbody and accurate for Troy Weldon. I wasn't trying to throw to him. I was trying to throw the check down once I realized we were going to roll out right into a would-be tackler. It is second and ten. Already moving the wrong way, and I'm almost sacked already trying to get the football out. Not a great start to the game, but this is, this is what happens. This is Desperado's franchise. I want to check down... Should have Troy Weldon. We're just going to check down to the running back. They had a linebacker covering him like he played cornerback. And he dropped it. Oh, come on. This was about the worst possible start to the game. But I know why you guys subscribe anyway. It's for the punts. I can't play offense. I get scored on every time, it seems like, sometimes. But you know what? Oh, nice tackle, Holiday. What we can do is punt. 
That one didn't go quite as far as I wanted, but it wasn't the worst. Do we know Demetrius Miller's dev trait yet? I don't think so. As they have a new young running back in there, Burgess. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Broncos. Drew Locke still at quarterback. What is his overall, I wonder? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. 81 overall, so he's about the same as Matt Schmidt. The only difference is he's higher overall. Uh, Schmidt is in Locke, and he's only been in the league for one year opposed to Locke's six now. Devin Singletary at running back, and Peter Burgess is an 88 overall. So we'll see Devin Singletary at some point. Cortland Sutton's a 96. Jerry Judy's a 93. No more KJ Hamler on this team. OJ Howard is in Denver. Their offensive line is pretty good, except for Jordan Mailata at right tackle. Frank Clark's in Denver. He's old now. Christian Wilkins is in there. We saw him. Leekai Fotu has developed pretty nicely. Zach Bond. And Christopher Tomlinson looks like he could be a really good player. Christopher Terrell in there. Doug Northrup, Bradley Chubb. Of course, no more Von Miller. Trayvon Diggs is in Denver. Iman Lewis Marshall, formerly Iman Marshall of USC. I don't know when he added Lewis, but he get, I guess he did. Justin Simmons is still in there. And Frank Samuels, who covered, uh, what's his name, out of the backfield. Troy Weldon, who I thought was a, uh, a, a linebacker. He wasn't even out of the backfield. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a while. He's going deep here. Demetrius Miller, don't get mossed. He kind of does, but Jerry Judy thankfully catches it out of bounds. It's been a whirlwind to start. All I can say is it's third and uh, third and long. I was going to say nine, and then I kind of combined both of those words. And they're going to go right over the middle, wide open to Sutton, who breaks a tackle. Jones barely grabs his ankles, but Cortland Sutton has a 49-yard catch and run. It will be nice if guys would tackle. I don't ask a lot of them, but I'd love for them to tackle. Let's shoot the gap. I was offsides. Huge hit by Trent. Doesn't matter, but... Deion Brown into the game. I need real deal, uh, real deal Jameel to make a big stop. Kind of tried to, but he's going to be down on the one. He had multiple holes. Had to cover one of them. And it is second and goal. Can we pinch the line? Can we make a play? It's going to be a run, obviously. And Peter Burgess is into the end zone for the touchdown. Denver strikes first. Already playing behind. Not that it's coming up all that soon, but we are going to have to kick the ball back to the Broncos to start the second half as well. So we need to get on the board now. We need to score. We can't let this one get away. Run to the right side. And Carson is just tackled. Immediate block shed by Zach Bond. I thought we had the edge. I thought we had the outside. Turns out, nope, not at all. And it is second and 11. We'll try a screen. Try to move the football this way. Looks like we have a little bit of room. And that is blocked really, really well. Carson, one man to stiff arm through. Truck through. Do anything to get through. And he does. Fights for a couple extra yards. And that is a big 22-yard screen pass and run course by John Carson we'll see what we can do here Jakob Johnson into the game doesn't happen too often we're gonna throw him the ball but we got animated right into the defensive end that's not it's not what we want do we throw that lob it up Duvernay big catch on the sideline dropped in the bucket to Devin Duvernay he had extra separation on that route I believe because of the slot -o -matic. Superstar ability. Could try the screen again, but I think we're going to have the inside lane here. If we can throw this seam to Troy Weldon. Now nah, we're going to check down. See if Carson can make a man miss. Uses some power to go right through Justin Simmons for a couple extra yards. We will take four yards all day on first down. Running it in. I think Devin Duverday on a slant. And if this is zone coverage, they could be in really rough shape. It's going to be man, but Matthew Wayne catches it, and he is fighting, and he's got the touchdown. There's something about Matthew Wayne. Like, he sucks, but he also doesn't. Does that make sense? Somehow, he's always the guy making the unexpected big play. And it's, it's not usually like a 70-yard, you know, catch for a touchdown, but it's like, oh, we need a huge fourth down conversion. Matthew Wayne's in the field in a jumbo set, and he just makes the catch through contact. Matthew Wayne gets open on a playmaker up the field on third and long, and we need a touchdown to score, win the game. 
Matthew Wayne's open, sets us up in beautiful position to do so. Oh, Matthew Wayne just caught a little bit of a, a I don't even want to call that a drag out of the backfield, but he just ran across formation and did kind of turn it into a drag and fought to get into the end zone. I mean, I don't know. Matthew Wayne is just kind of that dude sometimes. Third and nine. Do I trust myself in man coverage against OJ Howard? Not really. I mean, th that's who the ball went to. OJ Howard, and then he broke a tackle, of course, and he's gone. Wrap up. <laughs> I honestly thought I played this pretty well. Like, for what it was. It was kind of like a skinny post by OJ Howard. And I read it, I mean... Pretty soon, obviously, I'm giving him the inside a little bit here. But I reacted as soon as he made that cut, kind of even just before. And then I'm staying underneath, and he just got five yards of separation easily. There's nothing I could do. And then I try to wrap up, and he just doesn't. Demetrius Miller killing me on that. He just doesn't have the speed to play man coverage, I think is what it is. Pat Bridge. Rowan Reynolds is back there, but Pat Bridge has kind of been like my new upstart return man i know roman reynolds has given us some big plays in the past he's given us some some touchdowns as that's going to be a nice holding i thought that was a face mask matthew wayne this guy i praise him for maybe the first time ever that's not true but i praise him and then he lets me down on kickoff read option by schmidt look at vanilla vic go did i mention vanilla vic merch link in the description i didn't okay well it is check it out also have some versatile weapon stuff on there play action second one we take a shot we're just going to throw it out of the sack into an interception throw out of sack picks will never make me i don't even i'm not furious i these piss me off so much I mean, he's clearly going to be open. Caught him flat-footed on the lob, and it just it just floats right down into an easy interception. I, like I'm, I honestly wanted to throw it away, but I guess we just have to start allowing the sack. I don't know. The CPU never has freaking throw out a sack interceptions. It just doesn't happen. Oh, big tackle, Jameel Holloman. And, and back to my Madden skill, I know it's always a point of contention. And I know people are not going to like this, and I'm sorry if you feel that way. It is what it is. I'd rather be honest than dishonest. I just don't care about being good at the game. I'm not going to run the cheese plays. I'm not going to guarantee a touchdown every drive. I'm, I'm not going to do everything it takes to, to score every every time by using an ebook or these glitch offenses where it's easy to score. That isn't fun to watch. It's not fun to play for me. I'm more focused on the storyline and the team building. And if that isn't, for you, that isn't for you, that isn't for you. It is what it is. Rolling out. Devin Duvernay. Can we get that on the run? We can! Devin Duvernay, one-hand snag, and he's going to outrun everybody. Diggs and Simmons won't get close. Devin Duvernay, second big catch of the game. This one goes all the way. Quick strike, quick fire offense to get us back within a field goal. Big play, Duvernay. Play up the middle. Hey, that works. Isaiah Simmons cleans up. And Natani Muti is injured. Big problem for him at Fresno State. Seems like it's catching up to him in the NFL. I'm on that! Ah, oh, come on! Play the outside. Big hit! Orlando Jones delivers it, but... Looks like Devin Singletary already had the first. They're running a screen, and Isaiah Simmons grabs and drags down Drew Locke. Some big plays by Isaiah Simmons on this drive. Let's cap it off with an interception to keep him out of the end zone. That would be awesome. I mean, they could maybe even get a field goal, too, but an interception to guarantee it would be nice. Simmons put pressure on the quarterback, but Jameel Holloman is all over that, and that might actually put him out of field goal range. That might do it. They're going to punt. Hey, let's go. Big defensive stop. Asking a lot of Troy Weldon here. He just bullies him. He bullies him. Oh my goodness, Troy Weldon. 
entirely responsible for the John Carson first down, in my opinion. Could have even been Zach Bond, too. Who is basically, let's call it like it is. He's a 3-4 outside linebacker. He plays defensive end. Schmidt, you got to get out of the pocket. You got to get out there. Big block by Weldon. Troy Weldon, the converted receiver, is blocking his tail off right now. And Vanilla Vic off to the races again. We're rolling out again. I kind of want Devin Duvernay there. They were just going to throw it away. Let's be smart. Let's be smart. Rolling out again. We throw it away again. I love the rollouts. Gives me some, some options to actually throw the ball, but no one really got open on that one. They rushed five, and it got in there uh, nearly immediately. Field goal should be good. Wind is big time against me, but it doesn't matter. Joey Sly's got the leg to cut through the wind. And we are all tied up at 17 here. Been a pretty good game back and forth. My defense just hasn't been tackling. It's a big reason why the Broncos have 17 points. Depending on how this drive goes, we might get a chance to score before the half. And that would be big. We need a stop and a score. And then to start the third quarter, of course, going to have to kick to Denver. So a stop and a score is going to be imperative to our success. And it, it honestly could be the game. I know that's a bit of a stretch, but it, it really could be. Going deep. Jones! No! Orlando Jones not only beat by Cortland Sutton, he gets mossed and then stiff-armed to the ground. Cortland Sutton got to be over 100 yards on two catches. And they're going to score very quickly. That much is obvious. Oh, man. Quick throw. Big hit! The ball's loose! Demetrius Miller makes up for his mistake earlier! Jameel Holloman off to the races! Jerry Judy can fly, but so can Jameel! Holloman in a foot race! Judy won't catch him! It's a Jameel Holloman scoop and score! Demetrius Miller just drilled OJ Howard after a broken tackle by Orlando Jones. That's why we love the big hitting safety playing near the box. He may not be able to stay with these guys in man coverage, but coming up to deliver a blow, hey, he might as well be Alexis Texas. I'm going to try man coverage again. Hopefully it's a run. I'm going to commit to the run. It's not, but I'm playing pretty good coverage. It's going to be a check down in the backfield. Miller, big hit! But Singletary holds on. Listen, I committed it super hard to the run there. It turns out the route was just going literally right where I was anyway. If that had been a streak, it would have been a touchdown. But it wasn't a streak. It wasn't. Miller! Way to wrap up. Where was that earlier? Oh, he ran a whip route? Honestly, great coverage by Jameel Holloman, but, hey, you know, tough matchup. Tough matchup. Tried to cover that, but I just didn't see the whip route coming. That was a pretty well-run route. And there's the two-minute warning. Yeah, you know, be sick. How about some pressure? How about any type of pressure? Checking down. Townsend. He just kind of steps out. Did he get the first? They're going to give it to him. Going to fake the blitz here. Playing underneath. End zone. It's intercepted! Big play, Darnay! Why is he even in? And Natani Muti somehow managed to get injured again. That makes sense. But Darnay Holmes just rips the football away. And all of a sudden, we have an opportunity again to score before the half. Minute and 26 seconds. Alfonso Peoples wide open. Go, Peoples! Here we go, Alfonso. Of course, the famed brother of Dennis the Menace Peoples. And I'd love to take a big shot here. I kind of want Duvernay. That's wide open across the middle. It's wide open. Alfonso Peoples again. Just get out of bounds. Conserve the clock. That's the smart play. Alfonso Peoples starting to go off. Oh, oh. Nah, I don't, I don't care for the dance moves, but I got to hype him up somehow, right? All right. What do I do here? We can almost expect that Justin Simmons is going to help on Peoples. But if he doesn't, we got to throw it up, right? I don't really know where to go. Ooh, Schmidt's pretty fast. Just take it out of bounds. We'll take a few yards. Weldon's going to kind of run a, a, a like an L over the middle here. I'm going to roll out. I keep rolling out, but it. I think it's been effective. Had a lot of space to do at that time. Maybe you should have run. 
But Schmidt's getting kind of tired. We need to score. Still time, but it is third and eight. So we need a conversion right now. Weldon. Just catch it over the middle, and he does. We're going to call timeout number two. We're inside the 10. First and goal. I'm tempted to just give Peoples a shot here. Have we even thrown the ball to him? Yeah, maybe he has one catch. Maybe he has one catch. But he is uh, very, very good. See, I think a fade could be good, but I don't really want help from Simmons over there. We're going to lob it up. Dennis can't catch it. Oh, we had it. How does Dennis Peoples not catch that? I think it's going to be Duvernay. Inside whip. Duvernay. Down to the two. We're going to call our third timeout. Ooh, maybe Weldon on a drag. That would create a level. And that is wide open. It worked beautifully. Touchdown number two for Devin Duvernay. He is having a very, very good half as we are up 30 to 17. That's how you finish, man. Two touchdowns scored, no touchdowns allowed inside five minutes. We give them 12 seconds to try and do anything. I'm sure they're just gonna, you know, catch the kickoff and then run the clock out. And then they get the football to start the second half. But we have all the momentum in the world right now. Exactly where we wanna be. Langford, get by everybody. So many guys just double and triple teaming him. And that is lobbed up into the end zone. And it'll fall incomplete. Good first half of football. We're only getting better as the game goes on. That should mean good things for half number two. Over the middle. Jerry Judy has an easy completion to about midfield. Stretch outside. Simmons, can somebody tackle him? He's still breaking tackles. Sat makes a play. It's a screen, and it falls incomplete. Great pressure. Can I see who that was? I actually can. Let me rewind here. That was, I want to say, probably Jeremiah Langford coming in. It wasn't. I think it was Heath Sapp making the big play. Yeah, shout out to Heath Sapp. I think that was number 98. Also, I didn't even realize they almost just put the punt of the year on me. Uh, you thought, you thought. Jailbreak screen to Duvernay. Oh, man. If we would have got that spin outside, it would have been over. Third and six. I'm probably looking for Duvernay on the out, honestly. I like the matchup. He catches it, but he's going to be just short. What do we do here on fourth and one from our own 29? I think it makes sense to punt, but I really want to go for it. I really do. I really do. And the wind is in our face. What are what are we really doing here? What are we really doing here? We're going to get like 30 yards of field positioning. But I, I think it is the right call. Darn A. That's a great way to wrap up. Okay, that was worth it. Hitting them on the 25 is worth it. I thought with the wind, maybe we'd only get it to the 40 or so. That might be the classic, the wind is wrong and it's backwards. Classic Madden. Oh, Jeremiah Langford off the edge. Play action. I took care of the right tackle with Jameel Holloman. Almost worked as like a nice little stunt twist. And it's second and 16. All right, so we're going to bump. OJ Howard at the line. Maybe even take the right tackle. Did exactly that. They're going deep. This has got to be an interception. Justin Reed had it in his hands. When is the last time Justin Reed made a play for us? Does anyone know? I don't really even have a guess. Don't even really have a guess. Good defense. Quick throw to Carson out of the backfield. Take four yards. When I flip the play, I want to flip the receivers as well. I, I don't want Duvernay to have... Or not Duvernay. Well, I mean, he's over there. I don't want Peoples to have Justin Simmons over the top. Because that kind of limits what I can do. We're going to run here. I mean, Schmidt is wide open. Went for the spin move. No reason to. That was dangerous for no reason. Thankfully, Schmidt's okay. But Vanilla Vic, 
Now, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but there is actually Vanilla Vic merch in the description. Pretty cool design. Not even related to Schmidt at all. Not even really video game related. As John Carson takes this one up the middle. Check it out. You might like it. Second and two. Run up the middle. Carson. I mean, usually you know the rules. Second and two, I take a shot. They defend the run pretty well. Looks like Justin Simmons is coming up. So I like the whip with Devin Duvernay. Peoples on the slant, also an option. Duvernay is just wide open. Wide open will take the first. They expect the run play action. They read it, um, they read it unbelievably well. And I forgot that that specific PA boot makes you roll out into a defender every single time. So that, that's a bad play call. I wish I could take plays out of the playbook. Unfortunately, I just don't think that's an option. We roll out and lob that up. Okay. Yeah, it didn't, didn't really work out how I wanted to. Roll out too far. Third and 18. We could try for the first down here. I just kind of want points. Just kind of want points. We're going to do a post from Peoples. And that's probably read number one, honestly. Just lob it up. That Justin Simmons is going to pick this off. There is a flag. Did we draw a defensive pass interference with a jump? <laughs> oh my god. It's a tough day to be a Mon Marshall. Just standing there. I press Y with people to go after a ball. There's literally no shot he's catching. And he's called for DPI. Carson up the middle. He stopped short. This is why I don't run on the goal line. It's not possible to score. They defend too well. Is Simmons going to follow? He's not. Well, that's a really bad matchup then. That's a really bad matchup. And they just don't know. They don't know how bad this is going to be. I mean, it's a guaranteed touchdown. <laughs> it's a guaranteed touchdown. They just didn't have the personnel to defend that. Touchdown number eight for Dennis Peoples of the year. And that one was just too easy. Exploit the matchup. Throw it up. And Dennis Peoples is just way too good individually. He is going to catch that. He is going to catch that. And that is the end of the third quarter. We are in a crunch time here. Clutch time for the Denver Broncos. Drew Locke and the Broncos need to score right now if they want to stay in this game. And they're going to actually throw a screen. Miller. Big hit. Oh, man. How nice would a fumble have been there? It's another screen. We got him figured out. Miller. Oh, what a tackle. They only run screens. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. I'm just diving at the ankles now. Just gave up a lot of yards. Yeah, that one hurts. And the Cortland Sutton breaks the Justin Reed tackle. Touchdown. Uh I mean, we got to try just running the football on first and second down, right? Carson up the middle. He's just not fast enough or explosive enough. But he'll get some hard yards. Third and three. Do we run the football again? Play action and take a shot. Just sounds much more appealing to me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Wide open. Carson. There we go. We got to throw out a sack, but we actually got it to the player I wanted it to get to. Unbelievable. Carson. Oh, we have space to the outside. It's going to be a hold. This is not going to matter. It's coming back. Just don't hold, man. Don't hold. Don't hold. It's coming back. Throwing a screen. And we got to throw out a sack on a screen? It was wide open, too. I don't know what just happened. Screen. A Carson. Bredesen, take the outside guy. And now Elton Jenkins is down. Fantastic. Third and six. Need a first down. Looks like Justin Simmons is coming up. So, naturally, I'd like to take a deep shot here. Just naturally, it's what I want to do. Which, to be fair, I always want to take a deep shot. And why wouldn't I? All right, let's do it. Justin Simmons is blitzing. Rolling out. Jesus. Should have just run. Again.
Who do we even cover? Nobody. Langford made him get the throw out of sack, but of course it magically floats right into his arms and he catches it through contact. Trying to cover everyone. Throw out a sack! That one's not intercepted. What do I have to do? That's another throw at a sack, and it's another ball that hits the ground. We're getting after him right now, though. That is one thing we can take away, is we are getting after the quarterback. We're going to blitz Brown as well, and user Miller over the middle. If they go to the outside, they've earned it. They're throwing it up. Darnay Holmes, Moss completely. It, it's going to happen at the end of the game. It's what happens. They're going to run the football in this spot. And it works out beautifully. Sick angle by Justin Reed. What happened so that Justin Reed absolutely sucks now? Has anyone noticed that? He's awful. He might be the worst player on the entire defense. Pick a player who's worse. Honestly, try to. Who makes less plays? It isn't anyone on the defensive line. Chad Brown does the job. Heath Sapp is pretty good. Big 69 clearance. Trent is a beast. Jeremiah Langford's good. The linebackers are awesome. And Isaiah Simmons and Jamil Holloman. The corners play pretty well most of the time. Justin Reed is legitimately the worst player on my defense. And he might be the highest overall. Second and four. Carson nowhere to go. Denver calls timeout number one. And on third and four, I mean, you can already guess what's going to happen. I'm going to call a passing play. I will be rolling out, and I will be throwing the ball away. No. We can't we can't throw the ball away in this spot. Just can't do it. We're going to throw it to somebody. Somebody will get open. I can't call a, a hot route on this play. Is it because I have the motion? Because that doesn't make any sense to me. He's wide open, but he stepped out of bounds. And he fumbled the ball. Brian Justice saves the touchdown. Well, what do you say about that play? Wow, they accepted it. That was the wrong decision. Also, why was Brian Justice even in the game there? Is Schmidt hurt? Oh, man. They actually just had such a great opportunity to win the game. Or at least tie, I should say. At least tie. And they accepted the penalty. Fools. Intercepted by Jameel Holloman. Drew Locke threw it right to me. And Jameel Holloman is looking for TD number two of the game. And he has it. A pick six and a scoop and score all in the same game. Drew Locke literally just threw to the game. Literally just threw to the game. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. He threw it right to me in the hook. Just a zone drop and he threw it right to me. That's the dagger. It's a GG. Second and four. 27 seconds remain. Playing some man coverage. And Jameel Holloman just can't stay with a running back. Bird just breaking some tackles. It doesn't matter. We're keeping you in bounds. Final timeout. They are a sack away from the game being over. So we are going, we're going to blitz hard. And I got bumped. I got bumped. It's a touchdown. I gave it to him. I brought Demetrius Miller up near the line. I thought I'd be able to get back. And then I got bumped with my own guy. And I just gave him a touchdown. It's a good thing it doesn't matter. Because it's 45-37. I was just so consumed with getting after the quarterback there that nothing else mattered, literally. And down by a touchdown with 13 seconds to go. No timeouts. I mean, it's a cool effort. But the only scenario where they could win this is by getting the onside kick and then lobbing it up to probably Cortland Sutton. And as you can see, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. That is the ball game. This one was a close one. High scoring game. Drew Locke threw for 507 yards. Okay. How many of those were uh, yards after the catch due to a broken tackle? I wonder. Pretty good game for Matthew Schmidt, I'd say. 18 for 31. Four touchdowns to only one 
dumb interception in my opinion john carson 13 for 42 averaging 3.2 yards per carry but matt schmidt five for 60 love to see it receiving don't show me their their running back devin duvernay seven for 134 two touchdowns carson had five catches for 50 yards dennis peoples only two for 11 did have a touchdown matt wayne one for 11 with a touchdown what's up with all these receivers getting 11 yards troy weldon also one for 11 and Alfonso Peoples, a big two for 49. Nice game for him. Simmons had 10 tackles. That led the way. Tackle for loss for Jameel Holloman was the only one of the game. And then two sacks. Jeremiah Langford, Simmons had one. And then an interception for big play, Darnay Holmes and Jameel Holloman. Also had a forced fumble for Demetrius Miller, recovered by Jameel Holloman. And of course, somehow, he managed to get two touchdowns. I don't know how he does it. He is built different. Do have some upgrades before the episode comes to a close. Demetrius Miller, do we know his dev trait? Superstar dev for Demetrius Miller. Oh, uh, we made the right move taking him inside the top five. That's for sure. We made the right move. Superstar dev. What do we give him here? Is there anything where he can stay with a receiver? I don't believe so. Ability to force more catch knockouts and react quicker in deep zone coverage. I mean, I user him a lot, so maybe I'll stop doing that and user Justin Reed to make him more usable. I need speed to be more. He's too slow. We're going to do zone, though. I need him to be better in coverage. I know he's a great run defender. I need him to be better in coverage. Need him to be better in coverage. That's a little bit of a tongue twister. He's up to 76, and then Joey Sly getting his accuracy up would be cool, but it's just going to be awareness probably. Oh, do we actually get kick accuracy? Get kick power. Was it not at 99 already? Okay. Well, week 10 is going to be against the Denver Broncos. We are 7-1. and one. Rolling. No way Dennis Peoples is frustrated. We're going to get him involved next week. You can guarantee that. We can, you can guarantee that. Five touches or 100 plus yards. You can guarantee that. Final upgrade is for Justin Reed. Again, in my opinion, arguably the worst player on the field. Somehow. I'll never understand. Plus two? Plus two awareness. I want a plus two zone to 90. All right. That's going to do it for me, guys. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.